you screaming you loud? Yeah, do you have a link or the something? Or no? yeah, it's it's I'm sorry? I was asking if oh. she cares about the...
No, 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 I was taking it. Oh, you're taking it? Yeah. Okay.
Thank you. Yep.
person? Oh, this is, I thought you had to designate it, no? Just uh, one, one game in the map, right? Yeah, this game, this okay. game is much bigger than the last okay. game, which is going to start.
So Cross would automatically every ten point game. If the so first game where someone is within one, one point of winning the match. Every time. Yeah. Okay. So if it's a nine to eleven, if the first game they're playing is to ten. Makes sense. Yeah. Just an incentive. Yeah. Yeah. Mhm. Only the first game. Mhm. How long does it go more? Yeah, I just wanna run through this. Yeah. Yeah. No problem.
<laughs> so now everybody can hear me, I hope. I was just talking about the format and uh, the last decision. So uh, when you have a double, you should uh, make clear if you move something or if you move the first two, that this is the most necessary thing to do because uh, afterwards uh, it's harder to see uh, to see the rest. And here uh, he saw the hitting, and hitting with the point is often right, but uh, hitting behind the anchor is often wrong. Yeah, and he could have made a prime for the better point. But anyway, this is what we get. Thank you very much. I'm not so used to air conditions, so for me it's a little bit chilly. <laughs> so his goal was to escape the back checker, and his other goal is to make the five point, and now he makes it. Six three is pretty bad. He was hoping for a two. Otherwise, he was wanting to make a uh, make a point on the board. Yeah. So, uh, Danny is new in the circus. This is his first appearance on an AV2, AVT tournament. And um, he is not very experienced in, uh, in match play, but he does have experience in money game. He plays fluid, he is focused. Not so much into theory yet, but uh, I'm sure we will see more of him. <laughs> Sends a fo fourth man back. Making a uh, second advanced anchor. It's a good roll. For three looks like to dawn, right? Yeah. So he wants to make the four point. He had two options to make the bar or the four point. And uh, the four point is more important in this position. Stepping up, yes. This is uh, like a double one. This is a, probably the best best he can roll. Two four. Mm-hmm. 
Matt has now. This is a little bit rich. Duplicates fives, but uh, yeah. Danny is hoping Matt is not rolling a five. Rolling a five here. He's a serious favorite. After the five. Without the five. This is an open game. I really can't. Or two. Still the same theme. Matt wants to make his prime. Twelve numbers to make the eight point. And then then he really runs out of timing. Like in average, he needs like uh, six rolls to get this man out. And if you see, he has not many other checkers to move, so uh, his position will look pretty bad after these six rolls. So uh, Matt has very serious threats. If he doesn't make it, he still has a four prime. And uh, Danny is not at the edge. Even if things go totally wrong, he has a back game. And um, it almost feels like he's winning more uh, gammons than he's losing gammons. So, uh, this is a bit, uh, <laughs> this is a good consolation prize for not having a two. Yeah, a very hopeful roll. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> two one. Yeah, two five or two six might have been probably better. Yeah. The shift is right. He can't let him move because he's keen on the uh, on the blood in the outfield, he's hoping for a dance and getting out. One two. One three. One four would have been really bad. One two is a good roll. Another one two. So, um, so first of all, you know, you would uh, you would think about uh, what the position is worth, but uh, also you will think about a little bit about your opponent because um, you asked him in the previous match about uh, about what is Crawford. So uh, this is a strong indicator. That, um, as I said, this is his first appearance, and uh, you don't want to swing this game too high. And Matt, uh, for the people who, who don't know him, is one of the strongest players in the world, so uh, he tries to grind, even if it would be a take. Yeah, he doesn't like to have a four cube. 
where you can lose a gammon. We can't hear them, so um, probably he's asking if his. Uh, I can imagine he's asking if his cube was correct. This is a common question from people sometimes when they respect their opponent a lot, but. Anyhow. Okay, they are still talking. Matt is originally from uh, Chicago area and now living in Las Vegas. I think Danny is from Virginia, but I'm not sure. I, I, I would, I, that's the rule that the USDJ I came with. I understand. Um, I would give someone a firm warning. Yeah, uh, I know it's a stupid rule, but it's fine. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> is this reach? Is this reach? Like, what, what's the reach? So what they say uh, is in your, the reach is in your Ah, oh, yeah, 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 right. Uh -huh. So these are ABT rules. Um, it's like uh, you you can uh, at attempt your opponent to give you hints. You know when you uh, reach out for the cube, you have to double. Yeah. Okay, five two. So very often you mirror the position, like uh, people have uh, the same uh, uh, same start. You want to mirror the position, like uh, for three and for three is the same, uh, like your opponent plays, and uh, five two and five two is the same. Six three, and this is probably just stepping up. He wants to be flexible. He has a stronger board. There's no threats. Matt doesn't have many options. Yeah. Good move from Danny. Stepping up now. One six. Thirty five entering numbers. It's not enough sometimes. So. Now it's four times as likely to dance, but now he's coming in. Three one and so um, what to do with the ace and uh, mm -hmm. he could make the five point, but he can also hit him on the three. The good thing is by hitting, so he has to use. Sometimes he's dancing, and sometimes uh, he, uh, all the time he has to use uh, uh, one die to enter, so he can't make a point. Now he stays out. Yeah, right, he's... Uh,
So when you hit with the ace on the bar, you usually bring a builder down. Same thing happens again. So... Well, well, uh, actually, this is what I would like to do also. No, I would, uh, he can make the 11, right? Yeah. Oh, this is a great number. Probably was yesterday. Mm, he also don't want to get attacked. Not getting attacked is worth a lot here. He's down in the race. Uh, brings a man home safe. This is right. He's faster. He want to go home. So the one is pretty clear. He brings it from the 11 to the 10, and then here's the question where he, uh, where he does a 5. So uh, this is a very constructive one, because uh, now he looks to the next best point, which is a 4 point. Yeah, there's not many options with double 5, he has to keep the 8 point. Yeah. And he wants to make a new point in front of him, so it can be only that play. 5-3. It's also not so many options. He wants to make uh, points in front of the opponent. Mm. This is probably not the right idea. So, what are the options here for the 4-3? Uh, hitting on the ace... Um, it wants to hit. Wouldn't be my play actually. So now he's spreading out builders. And this is Matt's philosophy. The spare on the six is usually not wrong. These are more builders.
Matt looks at the hit. You could also make the 10. Slot the 4, but you would give him good 3s, which he doesn't have. So uh, one of the concepts in the game is um, you want to narrow down the opponent's spectrum of good numbers. Yeah. If you can't do anything great constructive for yourself, you... Uh, I mean, you really gain when he dances when you hit. But um, he's entering on the two or the four. This guy uh, hurts you, and also if he hits you, it's not that horrible, but it's also... Mm-hmm. This is like the natural move. He can't bring the... Ah, more blots. Mm. This is a good shot. So, and now... Yeah, I think he... Should he lift or shouldn't he lift? It's very bad to have the fourth man here. But also, uh, 6-1. So now Matt is rolling. At least he's shaking and he rolls. Yeah. This is not yet a double, he says. <laughs> Very big, very big roll. No alternatives here. Oh, also very big roll for Matt. Now he's a huge favorite. But this is also a very big roll. Yeah, I like it actually. There's nothing to shoot at. Kept the anchor, sharpened the board. Oh. So, the race is not won with this double six, so Matt wants to spread out and get, get him if he has to leave the anchor. This is safe. Only double six hits and double six wins anyway. Mm -hmm. So Danny had the chance to uh, start the two point, which makes him maybe vulnerable when he uh, has to leave the anchor, but. Uh, Well, uh, we have seen a similar position earlier where Mochi, Mochi had a similar.
This is a very expensive nine shot. This is turning a bad six four into a great shot. So, he's remaking his six point. He's thinking about re remaking his six point and leaving the anchor. Also, maybe tempted because of the blood made left, which is only a slot. No, he's not double hitting. This is a great shot for Danny. Oh, well, Danny has a longer crossover and a lot of wasted pips. Now it's clearer to answer this, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But then he is far away from being dead. This is quite some sequence. First double five, then double two. <laughs> ah, I just hear from the back. Uh, people are talking that uh, good players uh, uh, roll good. That's what they make them good players. But very often they position themselves uh, so well that more roles are good. Yeah. So it can be very misleading sometimes. Mm hmm. I don't know if you can all this here. Um, kid is sitting in the back and we get a lot of valuable insights and sometimes I, I stop commenting because I have to process uh, the informations.
So now it's eight away, eight away. It's not really a special score, but uh, one thing, of course, since both are even away, both are uh, inclined not to lose their market. And I see they do a break. So we will be back like in 10 minutes. Yeah. So once again to this, uh, good night, thank you. So uh, once again, this is a very demanding uh, uh, format and it's uh, it's really tough. Uh, uh, this is um, a mad fifth game. Shame for Danny, of course. So uh, maybe around uh, 200 decisions uh, per 11 point match so uh, maybe a uh, thousand decisions so far being focused uh, without a break for uh, like eight ten hours it's really like sport and for me and for uh, some others, uh, it is sport actually. Yeah. And he is already back and waiting. Both have plenty of time left. So I see Matt is going back to the room and And uh, we continue eight away, eight away.
Nobody wants to get gammed at this score and nobody wants to lose his market. So with the 6-2, um, hitting is good, but then, uh, as we know nowadays, you should come down from the 13. This is the safer play, and it also brings a new builder to the... He got hit, and again, the second time in this match, he dances with double six. Match double six is a real joker. Instant four prime. Hitting the second checker. And another double six. So this means Matt is too good now. Yeah. And he dances again. Three. It looks like a really good move, but actually in this position, 6-5 would have been probably better, or 5-4, because uh, now it's uh, not a priming game anymore. It's a blitz. And he's hoping for an ace. Mad must hit him, he can't allow him to make the anchor. It's a 3-6-3. Three, three. So, um... The anchor is more a threat than, uh... than getting hit. So, uh, what to think about now for um, uh, for black is uh, um, basically not to get stuck getting a good distribution. Double four. He couldn't. Uh, he couldn't avoid it before. Let's hope he doesn't roll it again. So uh, either he left him double five. Now he really doesn't roll wanna roll double sixes. Two one now he's thinking about about the doubles, the distribution and the builders. 
he doesn't need the five point anymore he just doesn't want to leave um, shots of course if he can make it he still wants to make it Four six. Now it's absolutely bulletproof. And now made his favorite to leave a to leave a blot, but then he's not favorite to hit it. Yeah, and this is just a gammon. So now it's eight away, six away. For some people who watch this might be strange, uh, but uh, ABT rules says uh, dice on check account. Yeah. So just to explain this, four three is a great number. There's a 5-4, doesn't play really safe, so uh, one option is a 3-point, another option is uh, to clear the bar point, being, uh, I think he's down in the race, so it's, uh, it, it's not so clear to... This leaves 11 shots, this is the least amount of shots, there's no extra, even uh, hitting and leaving a shot on the bar would leave more shots, because it's 10 sixes plus uh, 4 3 and 5 twos, this is like uh, 14, so 3 shots less, I still would have made the 3 point. Again, the least amount of shots possible. Right. 
like if he left for example the uh, the midpoint it would be additional double four like here there's nothing additional plus it, uh, it keeps a point and it's it starts a new one so uh, So I, I think Danny missed the cube. But now he doesn't miss it anymore. So thinking about gammons, gammon chances, um, This was a good move, not hitting. That's a great roll. Two for sure. Now uh, he's doing something he should have done earlier. He's considering options. Yeah. Very often he sees a move and just makes his move. Now he's considering options. But I think he's right to make the five point. Good decision, good process. So uh, if he would be faster, for example, he for sure came in on the uh, on the three, putting down thirteen ten uh, gives him just uh, more good numbers because he reached also to the four point, and uh, he wants field coverage. He doesn't want to come out with his back checker, so. The fourth man back is not that bad, especially when he can make an anchor. And now his plan is to make new points and he will double slot. And on after next roll he will have a stronger bot than his opponent. This is a known technique and well executed. And 5-2. It's tempting to make the point, but now he sees it. Right, clearing is a superior concept. As he is faster and he has a great distribution, Clearing is superior in this position. And he continues with the same technique, slotting the next point. Goes right to the spot where he wants. Now the 
has two options but this is all probably right what he's doing he's trying to clear the next point so moving moving a checker in and playing safe yes you want to stay back you want to block the sixes you want to cover the field and you you want to make the bar point very often uh, people go uh, too early for the two point the bar point is uh, at the moment he has a five point prime better than having a four point prime with builder for the five point prime he wants to stay back two is clear yeah and now the question is 18 16 twice or if he should continue to move the guy who's now on the eight and um, mostly they are doing the same job but it's a little bit more field coverage to to keep the 18 So now he has to make the four point. Usually he, he prefers to clear points, but uh, making this point helps him to clear the other points. So uh, it's a little bit of a contradiction. He is uh, in clearing mode, but uh, making a new one this time helps him to clear the rest better. Matt wanted the shot now while he was perfectly set up and now this will this is equity down almost every roll was equity down and uh, the question is now uh, uh, what Danny thinking is because uh, he was in the stronger position for long and uh, at least after the double one, he should have considered to double, if not before. But maybe he also pays tribute to the many hours he's already sitting in the chair, to the many decisions he has behind him. But now he sees it clearly, there's no gammons involved and he has a way stronger position. And uh, I think Matt was not really in doubt, yeah, but uh, he had so much time that he just uh, made an extra look. Also, he didn't probably didn't want it that his opponent feels too confident about his own decision. So six away, six away. Matters on roll, small favorite. Hitting is very strong. Getting a little bit bigger favorite. So now we are in reaching distance. A double BG is already the match. But BG is very unlikely and there is no reason for it anywhere. Matt is way stronger now. Best field control. This is a very strong position. Matt doesn't like to lose his market. But it's still too early. Making a point is good. Nine point is part of a prime. It's a two is four prime. 
six three was a really good number making the five point giving Matt really no reason to double now So, um, this is risky business, I mean, uh, so you like to go out, but I don't like, I think you want to go out and being stuck on the, uh, on the bar point. Yes. Not the point you want, but also uh, you don't prefer to be blitzed. So uh, he gets only out by a two and he had a two. Yeah, he could have come up and made the two point with a two three. Instead, he uh, used up all his builders to make a point behind his opponent anchor. So Matt has like a positive trend and the other person is facing a negative trend, plus he has a stronger position. Also he really wants to have two points and he doesn't want to miss a gammon. But bots have same strength and the opponent has a double, so... 3-1 I would say is uh, positive equity because... Uh, he made another point. 6-5 is negative equity. Equity down. Yeah. So now, I don't think Matt can wait any longer. And I think it will bother Matt a little bit because uh, I'm sure he would have preferred to play this game. Snowy 2 used to hit in this position, yeah, but uh, all the uh, programs afterwards and the rollouts showed us, showed us it's better to uh, make the 5 point and uh, switch 8 to 7. Double 3 is another great roll. Six two is a great roll. Now Danny's favorite. Matt is dancing. Yeah. The ace was also very important. No blots in the outfield and moving up to see the to see sunlight. So Matt is thinking now making the inner board point and hitting or bringing a builder down making the inner board point hitting this one checker often you like to hit one checker because it can find nowhere rest yeah checker can't anchor but um, f 
or three. Maybe he doesn't see the move, his legal moves. Danny is favored again by entering. So what changed? Why is he hitting now? What changed now? He, uh, Danny has a plot in the board. Matt has more people in the zone. And also, then he was on the edge. I don't think Matt will double this. He's not winning a gammon here, but he's oh, he wants to think about the position. He doesn't want to miss. Uh, he wants to create awareness, not to miss the no, not to miss the point uh, when it comes up. But right now he's not winning any any gammons and uh, he's happy for yeah. oh this is a So, uh, Matt is up in the race, he has a stronger position, and he has some threats. So, his consideration is, what will Danny do? And, um, if he pass, the question is, might it be too good? So he had 10 pointing numbers and he rolled one of these 10 pointing numbers. If he closes him out, it's like uh, maybe 50 50 of uh, winning a gammon, maybe more. He might be a small favorite to win a game and then. I would have I would have brought a builder. So now
which six is a question and this six gives him additional double two to close so it brings another number so both plays would have brought a third builder but uh, this this is like uh, the way the builders placed sometimes enables uh, more closeouts by activating doubles one four and this is not even so clear. Maybe he should go for the crossover to avoid gammons and play from 13 to 9. Oh, this is also a crossover, but more deep. So bringing the guy in is a safe way to win, but um, it's less gammons. He definitely wants gammons. He wanna go to the Crawford. But he's also risking some winning games by getting hit back. So now he's does doing his does his calculation. Matt's decision will be accurate. Yeah. So uh, let's watch and learn. Whatever he does will be the right move. Yeah. This is a close out. This is a great number. Keeping the board closed, taking off a checker. Very important to get in for Danny. It's like uh, still like 50 50. Oh, now Matt is a great favorite to win again. Man. Eleven crossovers against six crossovers. Yeah. <laughs> the drink? Yeah. Pardon? How is Matt playing? Yep. Good as always. Yeah. Uh, he won already the first game, uh, the first match. Yeah. So uh, if he wins this. The set is decided. He will advance to the playoff of three people. Ah. Plus he won satellite. Yeah, he entered uh, the cheapest way possible to this event. Yeah. Winning a field of eight. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, I went the highest uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, without a rebuy. Yeah, <laughs> is it a good drink at least? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is winner's choice. Whenever you're out of a tournament, take a gin tonic. <laughs> oh, four three is a terrific number. I was watching a game from the room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit higher. Yeah, this is double. This is his first ABT tournament. Yeah, 
he uh, he didn't know about the Crawford rule. Yeah, he's an experienced player, but uh, he's new to tournament backgammon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is important to know. Everybody starts once. Usually, uh, you don't see uh, uh, rookies entering uh, such events, but uh, from time to time, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's uh, he's better rested than Matt because Matt had like no break. He had to wait for uh, the qualifier. So um, he's playing. Um, first he had to wait like three hours and then uh, he played through since uh, four o'clock. Yeah. Four o'clock for the people who are not in our time zone. This is like. Um, Six and a half hours he's playing now straight. Yeah. So I'm I'm thinking Danny is not a counter, but he has a feeling that this is a, that this is best choice. Actually, I'm giving the half. Right, but he would probably lose equity by not running now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. At least he has to right. At least he has to come here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So having a holding game, you're never a favorite. Yeah. Always the person who holds you is a favorite, not the person who is being held. So sometimes you run even if you're a little bit down. And this is the downside of uh, running halfway, right? This is actually a, a great double for the race. Uh, unfortunately, you can't run. Yeah. Takes away from the greatness. Still equity up because the basic character is a race. <laughs> so this is uh, my feeling. Is this like a fifty-fifty game? Yeah. Yeah. Whoever's in role is a favorite. So now he rolled the double fours. Now oh no, this is met again. Yeah. It feels like he shouldn't cut contact. Because the opponent rolled double fours, was out even, and then he was on roll, and then the opponent rolled double fours. And this is not a running number, anyhow. Yeah. If you if you cut contact, you want to cut contact with a running number, not. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Of course you want to roll a big number. Yeah. yeah. Of course, because a, a basic character is a race. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I ah, a, a big number to get stuck.
Yeah, and he's preparing for uh, uh, push-offs and yeah, yeah. Cost him a lot, yeah, cost him a lot. What an exciting beer in. <laughs> Even more. And there's actually, you know, uh, sometimes there is a point where you want to leave the shot because you're just losing too much in the, but this is probably, again, uh, this is not a running number. Yeah. So uh, I think you, uh, the 15 shots are too expensive. But if he get missed, yeah. He has to reduce the shots. I think so too, yeah. Mm -hmm. Three shots less. But he's thinking maybe, uh, of course he has to think about everything. He has a lot of time, so he can think about the bet to one, you know, how does this swing, oh. yeah. Well, he gains on the two one, yeah, yeah. But two one is bad anyhow. Two one is bad anyhow, uh, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So maybe he, uh, he wasted some equity with this decision. But uh, since he didn't get hit. It didn't cost him effectively. Costed him an equity, but it this is very strong. If Danny doesn't roll a double soon, uh, Matt needs uh, needs to miss twice. Yeah. So first he needs to have a gap, then to miss twice. This is not so easy. Yeah. Um, he is uh, he is uh, practicing a little bit, not like you, you know, but uh, but he's uh, still in the material. He's not. Uh, he didn't abandon backgammon, but um, he's not he's not training like he wants to live from it. <laughs> okay, congratulations, Matt. So uh, now he is in the playoff of the last three. Yeah. I think you could hear it. Uh, so uh, Troy is a, a buddy of Danny, yeah, who is also new in tournament backgammon, and uh, Danny Nazarian is already quite famous. I think he's from LA. Yeah, very good player, and so uh, this last match will decide the last uh, uh, playoff. <laughs> okay, Matt is here. I can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seven hours of play. Congratulations, Matt. Mm -hmm. 
if they all go one and one, then do a round robin of seven points. So um, I got I just got the information. There's three people left, and it will be a round robin, which is the fairest to do. And if there's a tie between the three, yeah, they will play again another round robin, but where they will shorten the length of the match, yeah. And if if this will if this will be another tie, then there's a. And otherwise, we shorten it again. Okay, then, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How about the increase? Mm -hmm. in the <laughs> mm -hmm. So, <laughs> so uh, in, in theory, this can be a never ending story, but uh, uh, <laughs> since we go with probabilities, uh, it, should be, it should be over. We will not know. Okay, so now I say good night to everybody. Good night. Everybody. Good night. Good night.